Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about tinted sunscreens, my favorite tinted sunscreens, as well as my wife's favorite sunscreens. And she's so good about applying sunscreens before. She didn't like the white cast, turned her off because it wasn't lightweight. And so us Asians or skin of color, we definitely deal with hyperpigmentation, melasma, especially women. I always say moms out there make the biggest sacrifice. And so you can get melasma after pregnancy or during pregnancy. And so there are different ways to go at it there's no cure it's just management but the foundation of melasma and hyperpigmentation sunspots on your face sunscreen tinted sunscreen preferably I just got back from the EADV conference in Milan Italy and I had a great time but talking to sunscreen experts there we all agree that tinted sunscreens with iron oxides in it can help block visible light blue light from the outdoor UV radiation exposure not so much your devices you know your devices whether it's your phone laptop your computers those do emit blue light but not to an significant significant amount where it will cause that oxidative stress and worsen your hyperpigmentation like the outdoor UV radiation. And so it's really interesting that you could be good and wearing regular non-tinted sunscreen. You could be outdoors for an hour, hour and a half, and you actually could get worsening of your hyperpigmentation because you don't have that iron oxide in it. So it's very important to find a good iron oxide sunscreen for sure, okay? So we'll be talking about that. You know, I've already reviewed the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 mineral tinted, and I've done a YouTube video on it. It's a great great one. Today I'll be talking about other great tinted sunscreens. This is just a box. I give this out as samples because I do want my patients to start looking into tinted sunscreens. So let's talk about my favorites. Number one, the UV Elements by Elta MD. This is a great sunscreen. Elta MD, just the goat of sunscreen in general, right? Like you can't go wrong with Elta MD. So this one has hyaluronic acid, it has zinc and titanium dioxide. So it's just purely mineral and this is water resistant too. You could use this to either go to the office or to when before going on a run or a hike is water resistant 40 minutes. So that's really great. This is my staff's favorite. My medical assistants and receptionists love this one a lot. It is like a thicker tint. So it's almost like a BB cream, but it's still lightweight. So if I apply a little bit on my face here, blends in very nicely, absorbs well, lightweight, doesn't cause any irritation. For skin type three, this is a nice match. Very nice. Might even hide some blemishes in the meantime too. It's about 40 bucks for two fluid ounces. So not bad. It is a little bit pricey, but I'd say it's totally worth the price. Okay. Alta MD, the U. UV elements because they're all different types and you guys know that the UV clear dermatologists love that that's a hybrid that has zinc oxide and octanoxate and it comes in non-tinted or tinted that's also a nice choice but UV elements I really want to highlight here so it's also hydrating because it has the hyaluronic acid great for all ages but I'd say if you're probably looking at your ages 30 and up this is probably ideal and worth the money there's another brand that came out that I like I've been using for the last couple of years MD solar sciences they make great sunscreens they have a nice lightweight non-tinted mineral sunscreen. They also have a nice solar stick that's great for reapplication, but their mineral tinted cream, SPF 30, is actually really nice and it's water resistant 80 minutes. This one is, I'd say also <laughs> worth the cost there. So this one comes out pretty thick as well, but also feels lightweight once you rub it in. This one is a little thicker though than the Elta MD. You do feel like there's a little bit of a layer on your face, but it also does blend in very nicely too. Comes out like frosting and it does leave a little bit of a layer, but I think it's a nice tinted sunscreen and also water resistant like we talked about. And it's titanium and zinc oxide. I'll be putting the prices down below for each of these products. This one's 1.7 fluid ounces, which is pretty standard for the sunscreens you purchase for your face. I'd say if you're spending money on it, 30 bucks or more for for 1.7 fluid ounces, just use it on your face. For your neck, your ears, your arms, where you don't care about the white cast or hyperpigmentation as much, just use like, you know, something economical, Trader Joe's, their larger zinc oxide sunscreens, or even like, you know, um, I like Blue Lizards, my favorite for the body. Those are much more affordable and economic where, you know, the 1.7 fluid ounces of La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50, you don't wanna be putting that on your arms. Unless you're really struggling with hyperpigmentation, you might wanna put the tint there, but the downside with tint on neck down is that it will stain your clothes clothes and staying the clothes is a real thing like I even try to oxy clean tint out of my white shirts and some of my shirts are pretty nice and then I, I kind of got ruined one being I love a van it's a great French brand they make great moisturizers for sensitive skin but this bad boy here this is naughty boy here he is tinted zinc oxide base it's the solar UV and it really messed up my musubi shirt in Hawaii and I was really sad I just bought the shirt put the sunscreen on at the pool and then it just got all over and it's permanently stained so it's a thicker tint and so you'll 
you're like, oh, all tints are the same. No, it's not. Like, look, I take off the cap there and it's like all orange brown. And I'll show you, it's like chocolate coming out. It's much darker, right? So even the tint doesn't even match my skin tone as well. This looks like it can do some damage. I don't want to get this on my white coat. So I'm going to have to wash my hands real quick. So I'll be right back. I like the brand a lot. You know, I do. I really do. I don't want to talk badly about a van because their non-tinted Solaire UV is so good. It's like 9.5 out of 10 good. This one though, I don't know what happened. So they're going to have to work on that. But their moisturizers, the non-tinted sunscreen, big thumbs up. The other sunscreen that I don't really care for is from one of our favorite brands, the LTMD UV Glow. UV No. I don't care for that one at all. I would avoid that one. That one's also thick. The tint was just wrong for my tone and probably for a lot of other people. So I'd say no go for that one. All their other sunscreens are winners, especially their newer UV Sheer. That's not tinted, but you know, it's so lightweight. It's great. The UV Glow. I don't know what happened. So let's move on. Oh, by the way, this is my the Aven 50. Um, this is the non-tinted zinc oxide base. Totally fine. This one's great. Now I want to talk about is in photo, the Aerophotona Ageless. This one is water resistant 40 minutes. It's in a 3.4 fluid ounce container, which I want to highlight because you might look at the, the price and be like, oh my gosh, what the heck? This is like too expensive, but it is double the amount right here of the volume of sunscreen. Just keep that in mind. This one is purely mineral. It's zinc oxide only, which is great. And the Aerophotona Actinica ingredient in this is nice because it's great at repairing DNA. And there's studies behind this. You know, when we get UV radiation, whether it's UVA or UVB, it causes DNA disruption and makes diamine dimers in our skin. And so what happens is that the DNA kinks and it leads to skin cancer lesions, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, melanoma. So it's really important to get UVA, UVB protection. Zinc oxide can provide both. So just having zinc oxide in your sunscreen alone is great, but having Aerophotona in it, this is great for my older patients with sun damage, pre-skin cancers and a history of skin cancer. This could help repair the DNA damage that has happened already. And so I like this one a lot. It comes in a non-tinted and a tinted formulation. So I want to show you the is a lightweight, you know, shake this up well, but it's very lightweight fluid. The tint is decent, you know, it's actually a decent tint. The only thing is the smell kind of reminds me of bathroom soap, which I don't really care for, but it's a great sunscreen and my patients are enjoying it. Okay, before I get to my wife's favorite sunscreen, here's the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 44. This one's really nice. I've talked about the Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. This one I say is might be a dupe of the UV Elements by Elta MD. This one is purely mineral. It doesn't have niacinamide like the other one, but it does have the iron oxides. It does have vitamin E and a vitamin C derivative in this as well. And it also has hyaluronic acid like our friend the UV Elements by Elta MD. So I just wanted to show you, it's a decent tinted sunscreen here that I've used quite a bit. It is a little bit thicker than say the Elta MD UV Elements, but I think it's trying to get like that, almost like a BB cream consistency. So I feel like this could be the competitor to the Elements. So if you've tried this one out, please uh, leave a comment down below. But this one's also a very solid one that my wife has liked as well. I still would say I like the Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 more than this, but this is a great alternative if you don't want to have any chemicals in your sunscreen and you want the tint. This one is a little thicker. It's not as thick as the MD Solar Sciences where you feel a little bit of a, a layer on. It does rub in well, but this is nice to have on hand for sure. And I definitely got to restock because this one's almost out. Use up the whole thing. Okay, now for the sunscreen that my wife loves quite a bit. This one's Vichy. This is her new favorite sunscreen. It only has titanium dioxide, so it does remind me of the Laurage Pose Anthelios 50, which is titanium based only for their tinted, their non tinted as zinc and titanium. This one, just like the Anthelios 50 tinted, only has titanium. This one also is water resistant 80 minutes, where I think the tinted Anthelios is only water resistant 40 minutes. I have to double check that and put that down below. But this one's 1.5 fluid ounces, so it is a little bit less sunscreen in this one. Shake this up well. Get the UV filters distributed well. This one's SPF 60, very lightweight, comes out very lightweight like the ISDEN. Let's put that on here in my forehead. This matches her skin type three tone very well. And so she puts this on every morning, which I'm very proud about. There you go, looks good. Okay, so that was a fun video. Hope this video was helpful. Tinted sunscreens for the win. Definitely check those out. If you're struggling with hyperpigmentation, melasma, sun freckles, sunspots that you wanna lighten with your retinol, with your vitamin C, with your chemical peels, this is a must. This is the foundation, right? If you don't want to wear sunscreen, don't do all these anti-aging procedures, buying really expensive cosmetic creams, anti-aging creams. This is the foundation of anti-aging. Find one that really matches your skin tone, doesn't break you out, doesn't irritate your skin. Hope this video was helpful. Hope you guys have a great fall season going into the holidays. Please hit the like button. Please share with your friends who are looking for tinted sunscreens and please subscribe to the channel. Okay guys, take care. Peace.